so we've got muskets on our side now. Interesting. Oh, we've got the Renaissance units, of course. Yeah, 4,000. I was like, it can't be cheap. And the Jouster. Okay. Can we get rid of the muskets? No. Okay, so we just have 1,000 to add. So what I think we want is the halberdiers. They seem to be pretty darn tanky. And just some hangers. Let's see if that does it. The jouster getting through to our our line of, of riflemen is a problem. Is it musketmen? They don't look like muskets to me, but I guess they must be muskets. To my mind, muskets are the ones with the uh, the bell-shaped ends. Hey, we did it! Okay. Okay. Oh, goodness. They're <laughs> just calling it Renaissance versus Tribal One, as opposed to Scarily Historically Accurate Massacre, um, which is, I think, what's going to happen. Okay, up there, muskets. Takes them a long time to reload, though. Let's see. Yeah, nope. That's not going to do it. We'll place them back a little bit. We'll give them a little cover. Jouster. We'll confuse the enemy. And we can afford balloon archers. Let's just do a couple of those. See, see how they go. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with balloon archers. That's right, herd them over into those trees. Actually, I'm not sure the trees is the best place for you to have herded them into, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. As long as they come out of the trees kind of one by one, I think we have a pretty good chance here. Of course, now we're going to follow them into the trees. That... that that could be a problem. No, oh, no, that was it. There was only one left in the trees. Yay! Okay. That is a lot of chieftains. But I think the proper way to take care of a lot of chieftains is to just kind of run them down. On the other hand, do we, can we afford the tank? We can do the tank. I, I want to do the tank. Can the tank take care of all these chieftains? Let's find out. It doesn't have as much range as you might hope, but it's keeping them at bay for the moment. It's going to have to reload now, though. We know it's got a lot of health. I did never try chieftains against it. I didn't think they would work very well. This is the problem, of course, as you get down to the last few you realize that it was never aiming that well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so chieftains would have taken out a tank. That's interesting to know. But I thought jousters would work better anyway, so let's do some jousters. Let's move them a little ways apart so they don't just immediately get on each other. And um, I think balloon archers would work pretty good against tanky but light units. So we'll put some balloon archers here, some balloon archers there. And like a halberdier back here, in case there are any left, and some painters. Okay, you didn't exactly mow them down the way I was hoping. <laughs> Maybe we just want balloon archers instead. keeping them from attacking terribly effectively, but it takes at least two balloons to lift one off the ground. So it's going to take a lot more balloon archers to win this fight. So, we haven't yet tried the ball of painters. Let's try the ball of painters. Let's 
see if we can just overwhelm them with superior numbers. And that kind of a halfling fashion. Here we go. Nothing's gonna work. I had such a hard time beating that initial ball of painters in this same campaign. I should have tried chieftains. I'm having a hard time getting that last painter though, aren't they? Maybe if we had some riflemen around to shoot them while they were doing this. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do next, is get rid of some of the painters and replace them with some riflemen who can shoot the chieftains while they're trying to find the last living painter in a pile of dead painters. The well, problem with snipers on the trees is the same problem with always having snipers on the trees. Um, you can only control one of them and the rest of them will immediately walk off the trees. <laughs> So, you know, it's, I'd love to be able to use snipers in the trees, but they never actually stay in the trees. Um, and I can only control one of them to keep him from from staying in the tree. To, to keep him in the tree, and the rest of them will immediately walk off the tree. So yeah, I think we just want some snipers in addition to these. Just far enough away that hopefully they will never reach the battle. They'll stop and start firing quite a ways back. And there's only two of them left. Maybe we'll actually win. <laughs> we won. <laughs> the invisible painter wins. Okay. Now we have got a very spread out formation. And we cannot afford the tank. For a very spread out formation. Maybe the ball of painters is actually another is a good idea again. Because they'll only come at us one at a time. And we can mob them. The problem, of course, is the Bone Mages. They get rid of our mobs. Yeah. So it, was, it would be a good idea if they didn't have Bone Mages, but the fact that they have Bone Mages is a problem. So let's try the Balloon Archers. Um, well, so my plan is, let's see here, how much time have we got? We've got about an hour left. My plan after this was to um, go into the sandbox, compare all of the Renaissance units to each other. Um, but after that, I'd be open to doing custom campaigns. Um, now, I'm not really open to doing the ones where every battle you have to take over a single unit and try and beat off an army. That's not something I'm interested in doing. Um, but other campaigns, I'm fine with. Okay, we're moving forward with the Balloon Archers. Hey, there we go, victory! Uh, let's see here, so we've already got the Cavalry. And we've got to defeat some Halflings and Harvesters. And we've got 500 extra points to spend. A couple of Musketeers on this side of the river? Nope, they're gonna get halflinged. Cannot fire often enough. He's probably just gonna shoot his friend. Oh no, no. He shot one of the halflings. But, yeah, no. No, that was not the right choice.
Well, let's try Halflings versus Painters. We had a hard time beating the Painters. Actually, they'll just get run over there. Okay, so let's put them a little to this side and a little to this side. Okay, so hopefully first the cavalry charges across. Good. And then the Painters go after the Halflings. So we're already doing better. Oh, but... Oh, no, good. Victory. Yay. <laughs> it's like the... <laughs> the, uh... The jouster here was about to get sucked under the water, probably, and, and get uh, run over by the mill. But, uh, ground up in the mill. But I think, I think uh, we did it. Yay. <laughs> okay, what's next? We have been gifted chieftains. Okay. And we're fighting against... Many, many things. Hmm. Is it musketeers? Is it a jouster? I want to position the jouster myself, so I'm going to get a jouster, and that means I can afford a halberd. We'll see how this goes. Probably won't win, but... On the other hand, the jouster's doing a pretty good job of getting away from the crows. Look at that. Kind of ran circles around the crows for a while. Okay. We've got to deal with crows. Maybe we want more painters. Because the crows are just going to take out X number of units. So the more units we have, the longer it takes before they take them all out. Farmers are a problem. The farmers are very cold. I remember we had quite good luck, not the best luck, but quite good luck against the painters when we used farmers. Oh no. No, that's the end of it. Okay, what else can we do? The painters do not do it. So maybe it was the formation of the painters was the problem? We can make a different formation perhaps, so some of them end up at the back? Behind the chieftains. Well, that seems to have worked better. I don't know that we'll survive the second volley, but, um, We've got more units with which to survive the second volley. Here we go. We've painted them. Consider yourself painted. Yes! Victory! By the skin of our toothbrushes. Paintbrushes. Skin of our teeth? That doesn't make any sense. Oh well. Alrighty. Renaissance versus Farmer number three. Didn't want to give it another name. Okay, lots of farmers, but we can't quite afford to tank, of course. Um, I feel like some musketeers will just take those take those uh, wheelbarrows right out. Um, especially if we place them like right next to each other here. Then they might actually aim at the wheelbarrows rather than these guys. So hopefully that'll work. Um, the painters work pretty good against everything else. So we'll have two more balls of painters. Maybe a jouster to keep them on their toes, and a halberdier back here to finish the job. Well, we shot one of the wheelbarrows, but only one. Ooh, wow. The Jouster took out all of the Scarecrows. Cool. Okay, now it's Renaissance versus Medieval. And we have got Catapults. We have got Archers. Catapults and Archers, so all ranged units. And we're only allowed to add Musketeers. Well, I guess we'll put them where we think it's most advantageous. 
Don't have a lot of choice here. Nope. This ain't gonna work. That was not the right configuration. How about in the woods? Some of them are still loaded. Picking people off. About to get picked off themselves, though. Well, one of the uh, one of the catapults is down. But we're getting peppered with archer archer arrows. Yeah. Nope. Huh. How are we going to do this just by adding musketeers? Maybe we can leave people a merry chase. It seems unlikely. I think we'll probably just die, but I'm gonna go over this way. Come on, everybody follow me over here and get shot by a rifleman along the way. It doesn't look like things are going too well for the rifleman. Nope, I'm the only unit left. And I'm about to get shot. Hi. Well, I don't take a lot of damage from my arrows. As long as they don't hit me in the head. I can take on the rest of the archers one at a time. Maybe I can win. <laughs> Where are the rest of the archers one at a time? Hi. See, they're, they're not actually in a good place. Hi, again. You got back up, that's no fair. Get back down on the ground. Nope, I got shot somewhere and died. Okay, so I think we actually want to go down this longer road here, which is safer. So let's try that instead this time. Of course, the safer for me also means safer for them, so I don't know that this will actually work. Hello? Okay, good. Thank you. Alrighty. Come on, the whole 40 of you. I'll take you on one at a time. I mean, they're still shooting, so maybe this was the play. I wish I could see what was going on. <laughs> but if I leave this guy, he'll immediately go charging up the hill and get shot. So... Okay, that was it. We cheesed it. Didn't see any of it. We have no idea what happened, but we won. Wait a minute. I thought we won. Oh, no, this is a different arrangement. Okay. We can afford the tank, so of course we're going to try the tank. And with the rest of our money, we will buy five balloon archers. One, two, three, four, and five. Secret balloon archer in the woods. Ooh, they got the tank, though. I'm not sure the balloon archers will be enough to defeat the rest of these. The tank took out quite a few of them, but it, it helped the balloon archers were distracting them. I'm not sure that musket musketeers will do any better. I think that's what we're going to try next, is musketeers. Okay, so the tank, of course having done so fabulously well, and some musketeers.
So they've got about the same amount of units left when they get to the tank. But now we can shoot them. Okay, they've got the tank. We're still reloading. There's four of them, so I don't think we're going to be able to get it. We've only got two. So even if he shoots one, and one of them did, even if he shoots one, which he didn't, I don't think we're actually going to survive. Well, that went maybe a little better than expected, but not, not really. So, tank is just not enough, and I'm not sure that we can afford, having bought the tank, we can afford anything that is. Let's try some fencers over here, and some painters over here. Here come the painters! The painters are doing a pretty good job of occupying them. They do have a fencer left, though. It takes an awful lot to get one of these kings, though. Look at that. Who's left? Where are you going? Please don't go into the sea. Who, who are you attacking? Who is it that you are attacking? That guy. Oh. I. Okay. No, you're not. Hello? Okay. You're getting the heck out of here. Like, this is the only way you're going to be able to get him. So here we go. Careful. Careful. All right, here we are. And we got it. Okay, so it fires automatically. Thank goodness. <laughs> I thought it was like, am I going to have to somehow write it? And then, no. Thankfully, I didn't have to. Okay. All the kings. And all we have is musketeers. <sighs> How are we going to do this? I mean, we've got enough money, maybe we can just make a line of it, but I don't... Oh yeah, that's, that's a lot of musketeers. Maybe it'll work. Alright, it's time for second volleys. Nah, I don't think it's gonna work. That was a lot of musketeers, though. I didn't think I was gonna be able to afford that many. Okay, so what I'm thinking is musketeers in the trees, is what I'm thinking at this point. So that, like, the kings have to go all over to get them, they can't just, like, gang up on them all at once. Of course, they will immediately march out of the trees and form a ball, but maybe not all of them immediately. Working a little better, I think. It's really actually hard to tell how well it's working.
Ooh, this graveyard here, or whatever this fenced in area is. That's a really good place. I might just have to put all of my musket in there next time if this doesn't do it. I don't actually know for certain that the musketmen who are there are actually, like, successfully hitting any kings. They might just be shooting the fence. I don't think we're going to make it. All depends on how much more damage it's going to take. If all these kings are almost dead, a good shot that goes through several of them could be our friend, but no, nope, looks like not. Okay. So there was this area here, this fenced in area. I want to put quite a few musketmen in here. Just a little guerrilla musket warfare here. Oh, I don't think you were actually inside. Such a small area and hard to get at. That's what we're banking on. That these musketmen will basically be able to fire forever because no one will ever be able to kill them. That they will whittle down the kings. Not up there. Okay. And then we're just going to have like a line of them. Very much like the line of kings. And then we're going to have a whole bunch of them over here. That's not a whole bunch. A whole bunch of them over here. Okay. So we're hoping that the kings will go after this line of musketmen here and go through them very slowly and get all in each other's way and get shot by the other musketmen while they're doing it. That's the plan. And then any kings that are left over at the end will get shot by these guys over here who have walked outside the fence because they're stupid. did not work any better. We wanted to redeploy them in one of the more successful arrangements, which was the line of them down here, a bunch of them over here, some of them in here. Okay, that's one of the better arrangements. We got this one, huh? right in the line of fire. Those are some pretty close sounds of fighting there. But there's still some of us left. reload while I was moving? Is that why it took me that long to reload? Oh. We went a coward's victory. Yes! Okay, so it's the hide and win strategy. I do not know how you win, because I've never seen it. I just know that sometimes when you hide down here, you win. Warning, warning, this video is almost over. Warning, warning, it's time to choose another one. This has gone on far too long, time to wake up and sing along. Warning, warning, this video is over now.